Another beautiful morning for another round of game of cricket. Sri Lanka still batting, and they have just two wickets in their hand. But positive side is their informed batsman Ranjan still at the crease and this is what happened in day two. It's Embry, bowling over the wicket to Madhugala who turns this down to mid wicket to get a single for it. It's picked up by Gooch, who returned the batsman a one run, taking Madhugala down to 65. And it's Embry once again to Rumpeliger who drives his firm with covers with the long chase to Alec. And he goes through for four runs, the first boundary of the day. Rumpeliger moving on to four, and the total moving on to 188. Madhugalde on 65. And this is hard behind there, and he's going to be caught. David Gower taking the catch, a simple catch. Madhukala having a rush of blood to his head. Played a careless stroke, and he is going caught by Gower of the bowling of Underwood, who's fifth. And the last man coming into that is accompanied by Maestro Mutalika, that's Ajit De Silva. As Underwood goes into bowl to him now. Wonderful and he hits us hard and high and it's going to be four runs. Yes, four runs. Ajit Silva in the left hand is natural swing. And he steers that one down to third man. He may go for four. Yes. And they have taken the new ball. And he's out. Very simple catch to no, the umpire hasn't given him out. It's Bob Billis. Bowls to Mahesh Kunatilaka. And he's cut him, and this should be four runs. Yes, right over the top of second slip's head. Botham just makes a gesture as he jumps for it. And John Embury has moved into that position and still a bit off. And here comes Botham. Bowls to Ajit De Silva, and he's behind that one. And he's gone, yes, he's caught. He's caught by John Embury and in that same position where he played the previous ball. It was short lifting, and Ajit De Silva drawing away and then pushing his bat at it. He's caught by John Embury, and the Sri Lankan inning has come to an end. So, Sri Lanka all out for 218 runs in 81.5 overs. Captain Bandula Warnapura was the batsman who faces the first ever test delivery behalf of Sri Lanka and he is the one who scored first ever run and first ever dismissal. Roy scored the first ever duck and Vice Captain Duliab scored first ever boundary. Inform batsman Ranjan and youngster Arjuna build the first ever 50 runs partnership and they miss their century stand by just one run. With 7 fours Arjuna scored first ever 50 for Sri Lanka and later Ranjan passes this score and ended up his innings after scoring 65 runs as the top runs scorer for Sri Lanka including first ever test 6. In the tail wicket keeper Mahes scored 22 runs not out. Left arm orthodox bowler Derek Underwood bags 5 wickets for 28 runs and secure his place in history books as the first bowler to took 5 wickets in a test against Sri Lanka. Pisera Oval was not a new place to Underwood representing England team he has played two times against Sri Lanka in first class matches before Sri Lanka earned their test membership. In 1977 he took 2 for 21 and 2 for 26 in the 4 day game and before that back in 1969 he took 4 for 63 in a 3 day game. Apart from him Botham took 3 wickets and Willis took 2. Now let's find out how England will reply to Sri Lankan total. It's a rather lovely morning for cricket. The entire ground is bathed in sunlight. As Timel moves in from the score box end. Played out into the covers there by Gooch. That's the first one, this should be four. A lovely drive by Gooch off the front foot. It's Wadnapura now to take up the attack from the press box end. Sri Lanka's captain. 
with his first delivery. A full toss. And misfielded there, allowing the batsman to go through for a quick single. But it's Demille now in. Gooch didn't quite know much about that one. He tried to leave that ball outside the off stump, came back, struck the top of his bat, through the gully position, no third man. Madhugal is second, and Siddharth Vettimuni, third slip. Kaluperuma in the gully. Good ball, but driven forcefully off the front foot. This could be four runs, being chased now down by the score box, but he can't get to it. That's four runs. Four runs to Gooch. Three men in the covers. Vettimuni at square cover, Das at extra cover. Here's the next ball. Hit down to long leg. That'll be four. Dumel can't get to it. Outside the leg stump. And Cook just budget the silver. You may notice when he comes into the picture at mid-on, having his left arm strapped after he got struck. And that one's back cut between slip and gully, going down to the third man boundary, and Vettimuni can't get it. And Varnapura straying a bit. It's 34 now without loss with Graham Gooch and 21, Jeff Cook and 11. We saw D.S. De Silva operating from the press box in, and it's again Asante de Mel continuing from the... And he's caught. <laughs> caught there as Cook steered that straight into Malik Kalipurma's hand. The first England wicket falling with a score at 34. Jeff Cook in his debut for England. Out, caught by the guy of Gordon Asante de Mel for... From the leg side and put into the centimeter off position. The Mel Bowls. Tabre. Forward, oh, forward, blocked and bowled. The second England wicket falling. Chris Tabre. Bowled second ball by Asanta de Mel. Tabre playing over it. And a great hearted bowler as he comes now running towards us. Bowling to Gooch. And Gooch attempts to play it off. Is it given out? LBW. He's been given out. LBW. And Gooch waiting at the wicket and then turns round. Walks away very slowly indeed. Racing in from the scoreboard end and bowling to Fletcher. And Fletcher plays this one off his toes. A very nice stroke. That'll be four runs. Ranatunga gives up the chase as the ball goes down into the Nestor Mall that holding just on the left of the smaller scoreboard. And since then he's bowled magnificently. Here he is. Also Fletcher. And Fletcher! Is, oh, he's dropped him! He's dropped him! Timel to Gal on nine. He plays this one nicely off his pad, square on the onside. It's a long chase down there. It's gone for four. Guy in double figures on 13. And still we have that cordon of slip fielders, three in a gully. A cover and a wide mid-off. And here's Demel to David Gar. And he swings this one round, down to this square leg boundary, and it's six. He picked that. Turns and comes in. To bowl to Gar. Short and Gar on the back foot hits him through the offside field. Four runs. Ruperuma bowling from the score box end to the left handed Gar. Has him in a bit of trouble there. Watching the ball on the back foot. Two men in catching position as Kaliperuma's next delivery to Fletcher. Fletcher back cuts upishly but effectively down to third man for four. And it will be Ajit Silva bowling from the press box end. It bowls to Fletcher who turns the way down to when anybody else bowls. Here he is running towards us. And that one kept low but he plays it very well indeed picking the gap between cover and extra cover. That'll be four. D.S. De Silva can't get to it. Turned away by Fletcher and Turned 
it straight into Sinatra from his hand. Wonderful his hand. And the fourth wicket has fallen. Got a Keith Fletcher caught by Badnapura at square leg of the bowling of Ajit Silva. And England is now 120 for four. And Fletcher. And bowls to both of them. And both of them drives handsomely through extra cover for four. Seven. The 42nd over of England's innings being bowled. And Ajit's next delivery, flighted, and Botham's lofted him over mid-wicket for four more. Cover drives, and Ranafika can't stop it. It goes past his outstretched right hand down to third man. They'll get two easily as Ranafunga's throw comes in. Into the wicketkeeper's gloves, a good throw. And that's you know, take a nun for 28. And on the back foot, and this one is crack at very hard and four runs. Bottom. That's a nice shot from Gar off his hips. This could be four. Yes, it's four runs to the mid wicket fence. That was a typical David Gar shot. There was no force in it at all. And as you come back, uh, we have to announce the fall of Ian Botham's wicket. Ian Botham received a shot. That's, let's look at the replay. That's Demel's delivery. Short Botham on the back foot, trying to turn that away to the onside. Getting a thick inside edge onto his tops. And he's bowled. Bowled by Demel. That's the prize wicket for Sri Lanka. That's the breakthrough Sri Lanka needed in this session of play. Try to revert to normal, it was perhaps too late for him. And here's Demel bowling, and Gar plays that one off with the off the outside edge of his bat between gully and cover. Arjun Ranthunga gives up the chase as the ball goes into the boundary now for four. This is interesting cricket here with the pressure really being put on Bob Taylor. Three men in front, on, uh, three men in close catching position on the off, and an equal number on the on side of the wicket. And his next delivery to Bob Taylor. He sweeps and it's four. <laughs> 165 for five. Gathers momentum. Comes in. Bowls to cover. And cover places one off his toes. That's four runs between square leg and long leg. 177 for five. As Silva bowling over the wicket. Bowls to cover. This one wills outside the leg stump and cover sweeps it round to the fine leg boundary for four runs. A bad ball from Diaz Silva. Loose delivery, which smacked away down to fine leg for four runs by Gava. The score goes up to 186 and Gava goes on to 79. The scoreboard clock showing five minutes past five o'clock, so this probably is the last over of the day. Tomorrow, of course, is a rest day and play resumes on Saturday at 10.30. This ball played down again to be on down to Dulek Mendes. The end of Ajit Silva is over. The end of play for the second day of this five-day test. England closing on 186.5. End of the second day England in a commanding position. They lost just half of their side but still behind only 32 runs from Sri Lankan score. Gower who was in good form during Indian tour scored his fourth consecutive half century in tests. He was not out 79 with wicket keeper Taylor. Apart from him skipper Fletcher scored 45 and opening batsman Gooch scored 22. Sri Lankan opening bowler Ashantha Demel took 4 wickets for 65. With that effort, day 2 has been concluded. February 19th was concluded as the rest day. So, day 3 of the match scheduled to play on Saturday 20th and let's enjoy it in our next episode.